Dispersion means variability in data. The spread or scatteredness in data is measured from the measures of central tendency is measured by dispersion. Is का मतलब क्या होता है? B median move. Say Mara answer. कितना deviate हो रहा है? That spread or scatteredness in the data is being called as variability. That is known as dispersion. Now I'll explain with the help of an example. Yeah. Two data sets may have same same central values, but the data sets may differ in value. Consider average temperature in Mumbai and Delhi for five days. Mumbai's average temperature is first day thirty degree, second thirty two degree, third day twenty nine, fourth day twenty nine, fifth day twenty eight. चलो add करो thirty plus thirty two plus thirty one. Plus twenty nine plus twenty divide by five. Average is thirty. Yeah. Average is what? Abhi Delhi first day forty eight degree. Second day thirty two add karo plus forty plus forty five plus eleven divide by five. Is kabi thirty. Abhi kisi ko kapde pack karke lana hai. To hum usko bolenge. कॉटन के क्लोथ लाया होगा तो यहाँ पे ऐसे ऐसे हो जाए इलेवन डिग्री मतलब काफी ठंडी हो गई यस ऑन यस Means this Delhi का temperature is ninety degree तो thirty degree बोल ही नहीं सकते on an average है कभी forty eight degree है कभी eleven degree है कभी forty five degree है कभी fourteen degree है किधर match हो रहा है thirty degrees हाँ लेकिन Bombay का match हो रहा है सब thirty के आसपास है have you understood so this this data is highly variable बहुत ज़्यादा है तो ये variability measure करने के बहुत सारे तरीके हैं That we are going to learn in this chapter. Have you understood this? This is variability. Variability from what mean means say variability find out for us. That means mean say how much difference is. One and average temperature thirty degrees Celsius. Bol raha hai. Par kisi din forty eight degree hai, kisi din eleven degree hai, kisi din fourteen degree hai. Ye kya baat hui hai? Ye to galat hai thirty degree temperature completely wrong hai. Yes or no? Means there is a See, average temperature in both the cities is same. However, temperature in Delhi is more variable, and temperature in Mumbai is more stable. Dispersion indicates variability in data. In this chapter, we will learn various methods of measuring variability in data. Now, we will write your various methods. Also, I will be making you understand by writing only. So, look for your children. Dispersion is spread or scatteredness in data from measures of central tendency. That is mean, median, and more. It measures variability in data It measures variability in data. measures of dispersion there are two measures of dispersion 
of absolute measures. Second, relative measures. Absolute measures are unique free, unique dependent measures. Matlab, hum, uh, answer aata hai to marks, height, weight hoga to height in centimeters, salary hoga to rupees mein nikhengi. They are unique dependent measures. Relative measures are unique free measures. They are used for comparison purpose. Absolute measures cannot be used for comparison. I'll give you a simple example to take some clarity. Take a simple example. Uh, boys have given 75 marks. Now, girls have given and 50 marks. So, we don't have to directly compare. Either we have to do 50% of the people, or we have to do 75 marks. So, we have to compare. Now, here, but if we calculate everyone's percentage, then percentage marks will be directly compared. Marks cannot be compared for absolute measure. Percentage is a relative measure. Those from comparative terms. Have you understood? Yes. It is a relative percentage. Right? Income marks I have whatever they have got upon 75 multiplied by 100. But the 75 is considered as 100 percent. After marks I gave whatever marks we have got upon 50 into 100. So after 50 percent 100. So percentage of direct to compare karke that place bana sakte lekin marks compare karke that place have you understood this? yes so absolute measures are unit free measures relative measures are unit dependent now we'll divide our page into two parts ya pe absolute measures Your relative measures. Relative measures. First, range. Relative measure of the coefficient of range. Second, Quartile deviation. This is relative measure of coefficient of quartile deviation. Coefficient of quartile deviation. Third, mean deviation from mean is there. Iska relative measure hai coefficient of mean deviation from mean. Coefficient of mean deviation from mean. Mean deviation from mode is there. Median. From median is coefficient of mean deviation from median. From median. Mean deviation from mode is there. Is coefficient of mean deviation from mode.
x standard deviation इसका रिलेटिव मेजर है कोई फिशेंट ऑफ वेरिएशन कोई फिशेंट ऑफ Now first we will start with range. Range. Individual data. We are given X column. Range is largest value minus smallest. Minus smallest one. For example, let's go. For example, marks are given: fifteen, twenty, thirty, eighteen, sixteen. So range kya ho jayega? Highest marks. How much is the highest? Largest value minus smallest. Thirty minus. Fifteen. How much is the range? Fifteen. Have you understood? Next, we can discrete data. Discrete. In this free data, we are given x and f form. Ranges. Largest value minus smallest value. Frequency column is not taken into consideration while finding range. Frequency column is not taken. By finding the range, have you understood? So you know it will come. For example, marks and number of students. This is our x. This is our f. Fifty. Twenty, eighteen, sixty, uh, twelve, eight are given. Four, six, three, nine, nine and one. Like this, it is given. So ranges. Yes. Largest value minus smallest value. What is largest value? Sixty. What is smallest value? A means ranges three to one. समझ में आया? Everyone, X column कोई लेना? बाकी क्या? कुछ नहीं. Now continuous distribution. We are given class intervals and frequency. And frequency ranges. Upper limit 
of highest class interval minus lower limit of lowest class interval upper limit of highest class interval minus lower limit of the lowest class interval now i am writing an example for example class intervals and frequencies to 0 to 10 marks ki hai and this is number of students 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 nahi 0 to 10 mat likho ko likho hai to make changes to continuous karne ka samay hai he writes 10 to 90 20 to 29 to 39 like this yeah. this is 5 10 8 2 so ranges upper limit of the highest class this is the lower limit this is the upper limit this is the upper limit this is the upper limit what will happen this will become this is highest class of 39.5 to 49.5 ye kya ho jayega 9.5 to 19.5 yes or no yes so range is upper limit of the highest class of 49.5 lower limit of the lowest class of 9.5 means range is 40 marks have you understood continuous karna padega class intervals before finding range if it is continuous so fir to problem hi nahi hai directly kar sakte hai na samjha f ka inclusive nahi hai f ko lete hi nahi hai we don't take f for the consideration by finding range everyone done everyone done we'll solve things some on page and then we will go to the next one. yes everyone ha ek ye formula likho relative measure ka coefficient of range coefficient of range is highest value minus lowest value upon highest value plus lowest value multiply by 100 100 is optional 100 is optional for individual discrete continuous period अगर ऑप्शन में जीरो पॉइंट आंसर दिया है मतलब हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाई नहीं किया है वन डिजिट या टू डिजिट के बाद डेसिमल पॉइंट है मीन्स दे आर मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड दैट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द ऑप्शन अभी अंडरस्टूड जीरो पॉइंट दिया है मतलब हंड्रेड से मल्टीप्लाई नहीं किया अगर उन्होंने सेवन पॉइंट नाइन ने या ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट नाइन टू ऐसे दिया है Then they are multiplied by hundred. Clear, everyone? समझ में आ गया? Okay. We are the first, and we will do the sums. The following are prices of shares of ADCO Limited from Monday to Saturday. Monday price is two hundred. Tuesday two ten. Wednesday Wednesday two hundred, Thursday one sixty, Friday two twenty, and Saturday two ten. We have to find range and coefficient of range. This is which type of data? Individual price, price. ये नहीं भी दिया होता तो क्या करते हैं? 
कौन से दिन का है वो उसे क्या लेना देना है राइट और नॉट वी राइट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इंडिविजुअल डे का डेंजर्स लार्जेस्ट वैल्यू माइनस स्मॉलेस्ट वैल्यू लार्जेस्ट वैल्यू इज टू फिफ्टी एंड स्मॉलेस्ट इज वन सिक्सटी सो रेंजेस नाइन्टी रुपीज आर का प्राइस है इसमें यस multiply by 100 so this is 90 upon 40 multiply by 100 bolo bachcho 21.9951 matlab 95 have you understood agar ye multiply by 100 nahi karenge to 0.2195 0.2195 Yes. Right, everyone. Next. Question number two. Done. We are done. Yes. Question number two. What is? समझ में आया है ना? Everyone समझ में आया है? What is coefficient of range for following ranges of eight words? Eighty, sixty-five, ninety, sixty, seventy-five. Which type of data is this? Individual, individual data. So we find range over here, individual data. They have asked coefficient of range, so direct coefficient of range, individual data. Coefficient of range. Is largest value minus smallest value upon largest value plus smallest value into hundred. Enough. What is the largest? Ninety. What is smallest? Sixty. Ninety plus sixty into hundred. Ninety minus sixty is upon into hundred. What will you get? Twenty. What will come? Option which? Because coefficient of range, you know. तो यूनिट्स नहीं आएगा यूनिट्स नहीं आएगा तो मैंने आपको बोला था यूनिट की मेजर है यस इट इज इन परसेंटेज यस तो यहां रुपीस नहीं आएगा यस आंसर इज बी डन
Next question number three. What is coefficient of a for the following distribution? Class intervals and frequencies given. This is which type of distribution? Continuous. Continuous. Continuous distribution. Continuous distribution. So range coefficient of range polar. हाँ, lowest class limit is 10 to 90. इसको क्या कर देंगे? 9.5 to 19.5. We will take this. हाँ ना? Yes. Yes. And the highest class is 52, 59. इसको क्या कर देंगे? 49.5 to 59.5. We will take this. Yes. We write here coefficient of range. Largest value minus smallest value upon largest value plus smallest value multiply by 100. 59.5 minus 9.5 minus 9.5 upon 59.5 plus 9.5. Multiply by 100. 50 upon into 100. Follow. 72.46. So, which is the correct option? Answer is C. Have you all understood? Anyone having any doubts? Now, what I did. Talu Kare, what I did, everyone? Yes. What I did. For individual, discrete and continuous. Discrete and continuous. Tino ke liye. Semi interquartile ranges. Interquartile range. Q3 minus Q1. Semi interquartile range. Semi interquartile range. Or quartile deviation. Or quartile deviation. Is. Q3 minus Q1 upon Q3. Semi matlab half. Interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. Semi interquartile range matlab up adama. Adama the quartile deviation. Next. Coefficient of quartile deviation is Q3 minus Q1. Upon Q3 plus Q1 multiply by 100. Q3 minus Q1 upon Q3 plus Q1 multiply by 100. Q3 minus Q1 Q3 minus Q1 upon Q3 plus Q1 into 100. Have you understood? Done? Yes. Talu by chance? See. 
first quartile or third quartile, we know the formulas of individual discrete and quartile division. And then the coefficient of quartile First quartiles, Q and Q, whatever method it is, individual, discrete, or continuous. Then next step is finding quartile division. And then next step is finding coefficient. So quartile ka sum lamba hoi. Quartile find kiya. Iske baad aap quartile division find kar do. Iske baad aap koi kuchh kar sakte. Have you understood dear children? You proceed on. Compute coefficient of quartile deviation from the following data. Marks and number of students. There are four students whose marks are 10. Seven students whose marks are 20. 15 students whose marks are 30 and so on. Marks and number of students is given me which type of data is this? Which is X column? Marks. Number of students is? F. X in F column is given? Yes. So, pehle Q1 find karna hai. Q3 find and then find and directly coefficient of quartile. Q3 find is Q1 upon Q3 plus Q1 into 1. Have you understood? Sure. Question number 4. Question 4. Yes, you will stop. Abhi dekho, X column ascending order mein hai, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 80. Is it in ascending order? Yes. Yes. Means we can directly find out, likho the X column is given in ascending order. Yaad aayega kumhe. So, yaad nahi aayega. X column is given in ascending order. Q1 is value of N plus 1. N plus 1. By fourth observation, yes. Abhi n matlab frequency ka total. N means frequency ka total. So let's start karo calculation. 4 plus 7 plus 15 plus 8 plus 7 plus 2 equals. Kitna aya? N is 43. 43 plus 1. 44 divided by 4. 11. Value of 11th observation. 11th observation. Abhi ame 11 to na hoga na kaha hai? Minus 4. 7. 7 minus 7 nahi karenge na? Wo jo 20 jan mein, 20 marks wale 7 jan jo baita hai, usme last person hai ho. Yes. Means what is Q1, dear children? 20. Marks hai. 20 marks. Have you understood this? Yes. yes. You are able to understand. Eleven after 11 minus 14. 7 I. 4 frequency column. You are not practicing your life. Here, first of all, I know frequency 4. I mean, they don't know how to group the level of observation. So, first of all, I have to cross the beat. Cross the beat. Cross the beat. It's a chair. 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 3 n plus 1 by fourth observation. It is cumulative of chart factors. I see here. Measures of central tendency ka discussion in the quadrant. Measures of central tendency ka discussion aega for correlation. P9 ke for regression. Haan pura. Phir probability aega for distribution. Index numbers or statistical do alag hai, iska koi lena lena hai, kisi se nahi. Syllabus is over. But 
you understood how much it is interrelated by the huh? distribution binomial poisson normal distribution मतलब इतने मेजर्स के बाद और लर्न नया करने का है उसमें प्रॉपर्टीज और सब है उसमें प्रॉपर्टी बेस्ड सम और सब है वह एकदम रॉन्ग राइट करेक्ट वो सब करेक्शन करने का वो भी सब है मतलब डिस्कशन के इतने ही मेजर्स हैं इससे ज़्यादा नहीं है लेकिन इसके और भी अलग-अलग टाइप्स हैं हमने गलती से स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन ये कैलकुलेट किया तो करेक्ट क्या होगा आपको फाइंड करना है ऐसे फिर प्रॉपर्टीज जैसे हमने मीन मीडियन मोड की लिखी वैसे इसकी प्रॉपर्टीज भी है तो वो भी करनी है क्यू थ्री इस वैल्यू ऑफ थ्री एन प्लस वन बाय फोर्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन वैल्यू ऑफ n plus one by four is eleven. Eleven three is a thirty third observation. अभी thirty third type करो. Minus four. Minus seven. Minus fifteen. Seven. Seven minus eight होगा क्या? नहीं. So what is q three? Forty. Coefficient of quartile deviation. Coefficient of quartile deviation. Q three minus Q one upon Q three plus Q one multiplied by. Always plus sign denominator में ही आता है. Denominator is always more than numerator. इसलिए तो मैंने बोला आंसर zero point something होगा. तो multiplied by hundred नहीं है. So that is possible only if denominator is more than two by four, right? Yes. Now here, yeah. forty minus q one is how much? Forty minus twenty upon forty plus twenty multiply by hundred. Twenty upon sixty two hundred. Twenty. Correct. Which is the correct option? Spinning option. Have you understood? Yes. We go ahead. Question number five. Question number five. In the following table, the figure relating to wages of sixty workers. Number of workers are sixty. Yes. N is equal to sixty. Factory are given. Calculate quartile deviation and its coefficient. Quartile deviation means it is equal to Q three minus Q one upon Q three. It is equal to what coefficient of quartile deviation? Now, this is what kind of type of data? Continuous. Yes. This is continuous distribution. पहले Q1 निकालना है, फिर Q3 निकालना है, फिर quartile deviation और फिर coefficient of quartile deviation. Yes. Now is the class interval in ascending order? Yes. Yes. Continuous है? Yes. हाँ. अभी formula start. Q1 is n1. Plus n by four minus c f upon f multiplied by c. Correct? Yes. Now we are n का total करो sixty दिया है ना उन्होंने बाहर चलो start करें sixty divided by four fifty minus two minus ten T minus twenty uh, five होगा क्या? So thirty to thirty five is which class? Q one class. 
n by 4 minus cf ka answer 3 but uh, this is a 3 multiply by c 5 divided by frequency 25 l1 kya hai ga 30 bata answer 30.6 Wages are the piece of it. Right? Yes. Now we will calculate Q3 after this. So let's click here. Let's complete the list. Everyone, last time, turn to your children. Q threes L one plus. Can I grouping over? Go ahead, go see kids. How can I so bad? Get over. I was telling you that. Let the two story that we can say, get it. When I chat here now, we don't say that. L1 plus Cn by O minus Cf upon F into C. Correct? Yes. Chalo, 3 into 60 divided by 4. 45. Abhi frequency minus karte jau. Minus 2. Minus 10. Minus 25. 8 minus 16 may yoga. So 35 to 40. Yes, very good. Q3 class. K and 3 and by 4 minus CF is 8. Multiply by 5. Divided by 16. Plus L1, 35. answer. 37.5. Two three is thirty seven point five. Hana, now they have asked quartile deviation also. Yes. yes. So quartile deviation is what? Q three minus Q one upon two. Hana, Q three kya hai? Thirty seven point five. Q one kya hai? 30.6 divided by 2. Three point four five. Marks. Pages and I'm rupees, rupees. Now, coefficient of quartile deviation. Coefficient of quartile deviation is Q3 minus Q1 upon Q3 plus Q1 into 100, 37.5 minus 30.6 upon 37.5 plus 30.6 into 100. Yes, everyone. 37.5 minus 30.6 kitna hota hai? 3.45. Denominator is how much? Haan, wo to karne ke baad. Correct, correct. 6 point. Right. Plus 30.6. 68.1 into 100. 